Welcome back for another tutorial. Today, I will show you how to quickly create an ornate pattern like this using Spotlight and Array Mesh. It's pretty straightforward, so let's get started. So we start with creating a Cube 3D in the scene. Remember to convert it to Poly Mesh 3D. And then scale in the Z direction to make it a little bit thinner. So just press comma to bring up the spotlight menu. Then just double click any one of them in the folder. It will uh, bring the, the alpha into the scene. And press Z will bring up the spotlight wheel. Then just bring out any of the alpha and then uh, snap the uh, spotlight wheel to the center and then drag the alpha to the center of the, uh, the cube. And then scale it up until it kind of match with the, the cube size. Move the mouse to the center of the uh, spotlight wheel and then drag it outside of the, um, the cube so it's not blo blocking the view. Press B and P, uh, go to paintbrush and then select alpha 14 and make sure the focal shift is negative uh, 100. And now go back to the spotlight wheel, select paint and then adjust the uh, uh, paintbrush size. So now you can just paint your own alpha. Uh, press V and you can uh, uh, switch between uh, black and white. So you can see in black, you can just uh, uh, erase the, the alpha and press V again. Now you can draw the alpha, uh, a new alpha the way you want. So once you have the alpha pretty much done, just go back to the uh, spotlight wheel and then press a uh, snapshot. And then it will create a um, new topology uh, based on the thickness of your original uh, cube. So you can rotate, just take a look. Another thing we can do is to uh, go to geometry and then under crease and there's a bevel section uh, hold on control and then you can um, move the slider around to give a little bit of bevel to the new mesh you can see the edge of the uh, the profile is not super uh, smooth due to um, our freehand alpha we did earlier so another way to make it smoother is go to the uh, polish by feature or polish by group. Just play around with slider. So that will help you smooth out the profile quite a bit. Now we have our um, basic shape done. Uh, we can use array mesh to make it more interesting. Now just turn on transpose, lock pose, um, and lock size and then radio and then typing 360 so it will rotate a uh, 360 degree along the z axis and then play, play around with how many uh, repetition you want and then press w to go to uh, transpose and then just move the transpose uh, gizmo you can just play around until you find something interesting So once you're happy with the, uh, the look and then just press make mesh to accept the final uh, result. 
here you have the option to make it as an insert mesh or a alpha map so uh, what I'm gonna do is uh, go to alpha and then under transfer and then there's a grab doc which will uh, grab whatever in the document uh, the canvas and make it as an alpha So now we can test the end result. Um, just uh, grab a cylinder 3D. Now just go to the standard brush and then select the, the alpha we just did. You can see it's pretty easy to create some um, complex patterns using the, uh, the functions I uh, show you today. I hope you learned something new and then please like, share and then subscribe to the channel. I'll see you next time. Thank you.